Good morning. My name is Matt Pulaski. I'm the Assistant Manager of Quantum Corporate Sales Training here at Pride Mobility Products. And today we're going to show you the retrofitting of our switch operated fender lights. Okay, the first step what you want to do is you want to make sure your, your chair is elevated so the drive wheels are actually off the ground. Take a 13 millimeter socket and you're going to remove the drive wheels. So once your drive wheel is off, you take a Phillips head screwdriver and you will, and we have to remove the existing fender. Once your fender is removed, you will need your new fender light. Now the difference between what the fender light is, naturally there's a wire coming off of it, but you actually have the fender light attached, actually molded right onto the fender. You want to make sure your wire is routed behind and we don't want to get to get caught in any suspension. Okay, once that's attached, we're going to re repeat the same, the same process on the other side. And take your Phillips head screwdriver again and remove the existing fender. And then route your wire and attach the fender light the same way. And the good thing is you can use the same, the same screws to mount the, mount the fenders on. Our next step is we're gonna remove the thumb screws that hold the, rear, the middle rear shroud onto the base. And we take the rear shroud off, making sure we disconnect the harnesses going from your base to your seating system. Pull your wiring out. What you want to do is take your Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to remove the power module from the base. Okay, once that's actually removed, put the screws off to the side. This is the switch operator module. So basically what it's gonna do is you're going to, this actually slips over the screws and attaches right above the power module in the base. It's actually a tight fit. So what we wanna do is first off, so you wanna attach your fender lights right in here using the two pin connectors. So now, I'm going to place this back in. Making sure everything lines up, and then you're going to put the screws right back in. Okay, now that that's in, and, it's, and everything is solid, now we, have to hook, now we have to hook the rest of it up. What you're going to see is you're going to see a run plug on your power, what's called the power takeoff harness. You want to remove that run plug, put it off to the side, and then your switch operated light will actually plug right in. You line it up with the, you line it up with the white dot on the power takeoff harness to the white dot to the white line. Once that's connected, you have your eighth inch mono jack that comes off. Now, depending on your switch location, you would need to you need an extension harness. So this is your extension harness. This plugs into your eighth-inch mono jack. Then our base installation is actually complete. We want to put the shroud back on, making sure you run your Q-Logic harness, the six-pin connection for your controller, eighth-inch mono jack through, and also your two-pin connector for the eye level. The other thing you want to make sure too is that. You no know, wire, the wires that you've just installed are not going to get pinched. So we're going to snap back into place, screw your thumb screws back in. Now you will need to you reconnect your joystick cable on your seating system cable. Now you also have your eighth inch mono jack. There's two different ways to do it. The easiest way to do it is run it from the seating system down into the base. Run this down and around, and then you're just going to install it right in your track system. For better wire management, so this way, this way it's not going to get pinched at all. And then you simply connect this right at the base. Connect it like that. 
Now that when you order the kit, you actually also get an egg switch with a light on it to actually indicate. That switch can be placed anywhere. It comes with screws to attach, to hard attach it, or you also have a very heavy duty Velcro that you can attach. Either way it work, it comes with both. In this configuration, we're actually gonna attach it to the four button actuator control to that mounting bracket. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the screws that come with it to attach it right to the four button actuator bracket. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And then you run your wire. In this case, we're gonna run our wire right along the joystick wire. Okay, then you just plug this right in to plug it right in. And your installs comp and then the actual install is complete. Now you have to replace your drive, uh, put, put the drive tires back on, along with the along with wire management. You want to make sure that that the wire for the fender lights is actually out of the way. You can zip tie this to the frame and follow the same rounding as the as the motor harnesses. So once that's good, we'll put our drive wheels back on, making sure we line up the hub. And then just press the switch and the lights turn on, press it again, and they turn back off. If you have any questions regarding the installation, please contact our Quantum Product Support Team at 800-800-8586, extension 5200. Thank you.